when should you actually leave the police? So this video is for those who are currently working in the police service as an officer or anyone else, such as sports staff. And um, the question I always get is, Alex, when is the actual right time to leave the job? So if you're in business right now, you're working in the police service, I believe there's two ways you could potentially leave the job that's gonna be more comfortable for you overall. First one is if you are, um, you know, you're in the job and um, you're working full time um, and you have a side hustle business, um, you could essentially earn enough money to cover you so you can go part time in the job. Now you might wanna consider this because if you then go part time in your job and those extra hours you're now gaining because you're not in the job, can be put into your business, then that's going to accelerate the growth of your business. You know, in you know, time, money, energy. You know, new opportunities and circumstances and situations are going to come about just because you're now there more often to receive them. Um, and also, by doing that example, um, at least you're still working in the job and potentially you've got the opportunity to go back full time if it's not working for you uh, by you know putting more hours into your business. And obviously the second option is to actually, um, if you're working full time in the job and your business is actually outperforming your salary in the police service, um, that is a good indication when you should actually make the transition from police officer to entrepreneur. And again, the reason is that the dynamic is going to shift. You can now put you know, all the hours that you're working the job, all of those into your business, maybe 40 plus hours in a week and it's already outperforming your, um, you know, your police role, then that in itself is going to create a phenomenal return on investment um, by you putting more time and energy into your business. Now, when I was working as a detention officer in my first year, I hit about 62,000 in, in revenue. And uh, for me, that was a good, good indication for when I should leave. Um, however, at the time, I didn't have a mortgage myself, so I had to make sure that was actually mortgageable. So I stayed in the job a little bit longer um, just to make sure that um, any lenders that want to you know, give me a mortgage, uh, they could see I had some PAYE income coming in. However, as soon as I had the mortgage, I then made the transition. Um, and when I made that transition, I was, again, putting more time, energy, uh, passion, enthusiasm into my business. Um, and from that was able to scale to you know multiple six figures which has just been just been amazing um, and also from a mindset point of view is that because you know sometimes you, you know the job's not there anymore and the kind of the 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 plan B isn't there anymore you actually want to make it work even more now that's not to say you don't in the first place but it's like this shift where you know you've got no like safety net now and now you put more kind of um, you know, kind of, you know, energy into it to make this work. This has now got to work. Um, and also for those who are wondering, yeah, but what if I transition and, you know, it doesn't work and I fail and I make a you know, mess of things, you know, good for you for thinking that because you can fail in business. Things can happen, but you could also fail in a job. You can fail in life. For me, failure is working in a job you don't really want to work in just to earn a salary to then spend money on things you don't really, you know, really want to buy just to impress other people that's to me is is failure um so bear in mind you can fail in your life if you're not happy um but also at the same time is you can get another job there's there's loads of jobs out there that you can get as a police officer or an ex-police officer if you've already left um so the worst case scenario get another job as simple as that you're going to be in exactly the same place as where you are right now um and i know police officers who have left the job and have reapplied um, to get into the job again. Crazy people, <laughs> but um, they've actually done that. So that's one option you could you could do. So I believe they're the two reasons that you should consider uh, when you're thinking about actually leaving and making that transition from police officer to entrepreneur. And when this amazing opportunity comes around for you, I sincerely hope it does. It's been life-changing for me. It's been life-changing for some of our clients as well. Um, before you pop the bubbly and go and celebrate, please do just make sure you go through your finances with a uh, fine tooth comb. 
Um, it gives you a whole different level of certainty that you are making the right decision. It just feels a whole, uh, feel a whole lot more reassured. So things such as your bills, your mortgage, your rent, it could be any um, upcoming expenses that you've got coming out, it could be hobbies. Just making sure that everything's accounted for so when you're doing your numbers in your business and obviously um, you know, your salary numbers as well, that everything is just there for you to see laid out. And then obviously pop the champagne, eat plenty of chocolates, and uh, congratulate yourself on an amazing life-changing moment. Now, if you're an excellent serving police officer and you're looking to go into business or looking to scale your existing business, then please do check out our business accelerators by clicking the link around this video. And also, if you did like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,